Hey everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Mixing reptiles and frogs? What? I held back one unboxing from Repticon. Let me show you what I got. I'll be mixing reptiles and frogs in the same enclosure. So I saved the best for last. Are you ready? Ah! Ah! Look what I found. Team Green Alliance all the way. All right, let me focus the microphone so you can see this. Are you ready for this? There are, are no names yet. And let me remind you what my other main hobby is, in case you didn't remember. I'm a miniaturist. I make dollhouse furniture, landscaping, tiny little things. That's what I make, right? That's what I do. Love tiny little things. You got to look at these. <gasps> Morning geckos. Let's see if you can see that in there. Move the sticker out of the way. Can you see that? See my finger? See how tiny? Now these morning geckos, and of course I got two. Oh, and do you know why I got two? Can you see this one? Do you see this one behind my finger? See that little thing? I got two because they will stimulate each other let me let the expert explain. Morning geckos are parthenogenic, which means they're all female. And once they're adults, the two females will stimulate and encourage each other to start egg production. And which means they're gonna make eggs that are clones of themselves. They lay the eggs, they're gluers, so they're gonna glue their eggs together somewhere in the terrarium. After about between 60 and 90 days, they will hatch out and you'll get miniature versions of the adult. Now will the poison dart frogs eat them? The babies potentially if you have large darts. So what we try and do is catch the babies, raise them up until a large enough size that they're not uh, potential food. The darts really won't eat them. They'll probably hassle them and they'll probably scare them more than anything. So um, we try and remove them as quick as we find them um, to then raise them to then reintroduce them into a tank with a with the appropriate size animal with them. So I'm going to put these in with my poison dart frogs. I'm still, oh, they're so stinking cute. They have the same care as my poison dart frogs. The poison dart frogs won't eat them. They won't bother the poison dart frogs. Probably keep them in for their first egg laying with the poison dart frogs. Have you ever seen anything so adorable in your whole freaking life? Now, I don't want anything to happen to them, so I'm afraid if I take them out to show you, and they jump. They're so tiny. I'm going to open those closer to the enclosure. So let's go look. I'm going to disconnect my microphone. First of all, if you guys haven't checked out Priscilla MK Art, check it out. This is the most beautiful poison dart frog I've ever seen. In a drawing. So, okay, this is beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to put some some fresh water in there. They were fed this morning, but after I put the morning geckos in, I will probably put some more flies in there just so that it takes the focus off these little guys. Oh, can you see them? Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful. Let's do the next one, who is on the lid. There we go. You can't come up this way. Do you see them? Frogs. Give them a little bit of flies. Normally I sprinkle them with calcium, but they already ate this morning. Close this up. Make sure it's locked. So hopefully they will stimulate each other to make clones. 
What do you think about that? So I absolutely love my morning geckos and I can't wait till they clone themselves. Oh my gosh. See you next time.